بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Response of course وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome again This is our usual مدرسة at home with me Dr. Imran Hamza Alawi Today's lesson as I promised last uh, I think it was lesson 2 I promise to tell you a story. Here we go. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a, a creature who was abandoned in a desert, an arid desert, very hot, very isolated, with no vegetation, no water. This creature had no hands, no legs, no eyes, no ears, nor even a mouth. The only thing he had was a small hole from which he, can, uh, he could breathe with difficulty. And that creature remained like that for a long period of time. You can imagine. Until one day, one day, an elderly sheikh, uh, dressed in a white robe, with his face beautified, adorned by long beard, appeared. And he saw this creature, and he said, Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. Remember? The creature had no ears with which to hear the salutation of the Sheikh. Ah, oh, Sheikh then said, Bismillah Ismani, I command you, grace of Allah, that you should be able to hear me now. And in an instant, two ears grew one on each side of his head Allahu Akbar now the creature can hear so the sheikh repeated his salam assalamu alaikum peace be with you but the creature wanted to respond but remember he had no mouth with which to respond Ah, oh, the sheikh then said, Bismillah, Bismillah, takallam. By the grace of Allah, I command you to have ability to speak now. Immediately, mouth appear and open with tongue inside it moving. And the creature said, ah, who, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? And he said, I am he who has been sent to you by the owner of that vast palace over there. But the creature said, but I cannot see. I cannot see what palace. I can see any palace. Ah, the sheikh said, Bismillah, Undur. I command you by the grace of Allah. That you gain your sight now. And by the grace of God, two beautiful eyes just appeared. For the first time, this creature can see. And I said, Oh Allah, oh Lord, I can see for the first time what a beautiful world. Look at the trees, look at the colors, look at the bird, look at the flowers, oh, look at the sky, look at all the ground. Oh, but the first time, oh Allahu Akbar, I put, I am thirsty, Sheikh, please, I am hungry, I am dying, I need food. <laughs> Sheikh said, I know, I know, okay, I fetch you. Water and and he said, "Come on, take water and food." He said, "But 
No hand. Ah. And Sheikh again say, Bismillah. I'm sick. I command you by the grace of Allah to have hands to, to, with which you can handle this food. And all of a sudden, two long hands and arms appeared. He grabbed the food. Um, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> so for the first to have something to eat. And the ability to be able to eat it was eating away. They said, okay, okay, okay. All right, now. The thing is, I have to take you to go and see the owner of that vast palace that you can see over there. He said, but I have no leg. <gasps> All right. Bismillah, Imshi. I command you by the name of Allah to have ability to walk. And two legs came out. Allahu Akbar. <gasps> now the creature is fully formed. Right, so he joined the Sheikh and they're on their way towards this vast palace which is stretches miles. So when they arrive at the gate of this entrance of this vast palace, and the creature say, Sheikh, I have a request. Say yes. So please, Sheikh, please, please, can you tell the the owner of this palace to allow me a little bit corner here outside where I can camp and stay. I'm too tired, I'm terrified to be back in that arid uh, desert, isolated place. They said, Don't worry, I have news for you. He said, What, Sheikh? He said, Look, the owner of this palace actually uh, asked me to tell you something, and this is it. He said, everything that in this palace is yours. I'm giving this to you as present to you. He said, no, you are joking. You are pulling my leg. No, 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 no. He said, honestly, it is true. This is for you, the whole lot, miles and miles of it. It's what you say. No, he said, no, I don't. Chef said, I don't tell you joke. No, it's yours. And I show you, look, they can have a bunch of keys. And this is, I'm going to give it to you. Are you sure? I said, yes. But before I handle this key to you, I need to introduce you to the palace. So, come with me. So the sheikh opened the, 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 the gate. They enter. They headed towards the first section of this palace, which is vast place so number one he said look there are about 101 section within this ground <gasps> let's go to the first section of it when they arrived they opened the massive gate and they said they found a man and a woman i said who are these the creature asked I said well that man <laughs> it's your dad and that woman believe it or not it's your mom no mom so no 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 there's no time now for hugging no no, no. later on you can enjoy them later they enjoy you now that you are reunited so let's go to the other section so they go to the second one they open the door what did they find there they find a boy and a girl uh, yes, I know. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> he said, who are these? He said, this is your brother. And this is your sister. No, but it's said, oh, no, later, later, later. We have a long way to go, yes. <laughs> so they continue their journey. They go to the third section where they found the uncles and aunts and the, and the other one where they found so many goody things. The, food and vegetables and uh, toys is another one we find all sort of things the television the, the mobile the latest the cars the bikes and motorbikes and the uh, helicopter and they keep discovering treasures throughout the ground until they reach the last one 
which you have that cover all the 100 section. So they reached the last section. At the last section, the, the sheikh said, right, I'm afraid this last section, as you can see, is huge as well. This is the only place you are not allowed to enter. You have the key, but please don't open it. And he said, why should I? I'm not going to open this. I will have hundred places and this area, oh no, I'm not going to touch it. That's it. That's my promise. He said, Are you sure? I said, yes, promise. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. No, this one, I'm take it no way. So the sheikh, the, before the creature look around, the sheikh vanished, gone, disappeared. <gasps> so the creature was left alone. Where he returned to enjoy his family and, uh, you know, for years. Yeah, of course, just enjoy and he kept his promise. Until one day. Ha! <laughs> there we go. Until one day, Shaitan appeared in his head and his whisper said hey you <laughs> he said oh, yes who are you I said, huh? don't ask but um i'm aware that you were told not to open a particular section in this vast place say yes he said but have you ever thought you know why that should be the case why not he said no I said, I, are you not curious? I said, mm, yeah, but um, promised. I promised the sheikh that I would never do it. He said, no, I'm not sure to do it. I'm just saying, have you thought about it? That's all. I said, e no. So who are you? Go away. <laughs> so so he, he chased his shaitan away from his head. But shaitan doesn't give up easily. He's back after a couple of weeks. Again, he said, um, I said, who again? The, the creature said, you, he said, no, 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 don't keep, don't be in fight with me. Just listen to what I have to say. Have you, you know, thought about what we discussed last time? You say, yes. And then, are you going to try? He said, no, I promise, go away. I told you. So, the creature was strong. And he said, go away. She turned back off. A month or so later, back from distant he said hey it's me again he said yes you again <laughs> what 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 do you want this time he said look i by the way it might be something delicious behind that you know i am if i were you i'm not saying you enter but just open and pick it inside that's all uh, what do you think oh the, the creature said, you are not going to leave me alone, are you? He said, no, I'm just, oh, don't blame me. I'm trying to, you know. So, a creature agreed and said, okay, okay, come with me. I am going to open it, but I am not going to enter. Because that's, I'm, he said, no, 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 no. I, no way, no, don't enter, just open it. So, <laughs> so he agreed, and she turned, took him to the place. So, at the gate, the boy opened slightly the gate ajar, a little bit opening, and pop his head in, and he, to his amazement, he saw, <laughs> I tell you what he saw, next lesson inshallah no honestly honestly i promise i promise i promise i promise i complete the, the lesson uh the story next lesson inshallah okay <laughs> this story is fantastic because see, i was taught this story by my uh, teacher long long time ago and his name is dr basam sai it's a syrian man from latakia uh for uh, he's, he's an um, old man now as well. Alhamdulillah, may Allah protect his life. And uh, he lives actually in Oxford now. So, uh, inshallah, next week, the next, uh, next lesson, I will tell you the rest of the story. Inshallah. In the meantime, do your homework. Make sure 
that you copied out that phrase uh, that we learned over the last two lessons, inshallah. Okay? Yalla. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ma'a salama.